All right, we're going to edit this photo in uh, Photoshop. And what we're going to do is right click over it. Just to let you know, you should always have the program open it. Minimize Lightroom. You want to edit, copy with Lightroom adjustments. Render using Lightroom. After the status bar is complete, minimize Lightroom, maximize Photoshop. So what it does is it creates a virtual copy down here. Photoshop opens up. Let's move Lightroom out of the way. So here's my Photoshop image. So I'm just going to remove all the color information, hue and saturation. I'm going to turn this to a gray tone. Make a few other adjustments. Let's give her a little more darkness. Increase the contrast, save. Move the logo out the way. Put the logo in, get smaller. And move it. Now, save it just click save it's a pretty large file so your file type and size will determine how long things render in your program and on your computer depending on how much memory you have etc or the other stuff so Save this as a JPEG just in case I want to post it. Just out of curiosity, I'm going to see how large this file is once it's complete rendering. I'll come right over here to image and then view image size. So it's 240 DPI, so it's like a 10 by 7. Let's, let's call it that. All right, so we're going to minimize my uh, Photoshop come back to Lightroom there it is in Photoshop from Photoshop to Lightroom and now I can make adjustments so I can change my filters over here my presets See what that gives it. Sepia tone. Now you notice nothing over here changed. So I can still make some adjustments with my highlights, increase or decrease my shadows, or soften her up a little bit. Come down here to uh, my luminance, take out some of that noise, go to the left with my detail and export this one for the record I will call this one let's save this to my desktop Choose LR for edit in. Come down here and edit my preset.
and remove my watermark because I already put it on there. Standard. Remember, it's a large file, so it's going to take a few minutes. And from two programs, information from Photoshop and information from Lightroom. And there we have it. Thank you. Thank you very much.